I bought a Motorola Razr V3M from Verizon and the thing is, is Verizon like a lot of other phone companies locks down this phone so that I can't access a lot of functionality that um, Motorola built into the phone. Um, one example of this is they want you to buy ringtones from them so they don't let you just put your own mp3 ringtones on the phone. So, the process that I'm about to show you is called unlocking the phone, where you unlock the features uh, in the phone that it should have <laughs> from the beginning. So, the first thing you need to do is have a way to connect it to the computer. So to do that, you need a mini USB cable like this one. What it has is it has this connector on one end for the phone and this connector on one end for the computer. Once you have that, you need to open up the link that's in the video description um, of this video, which will bring you to a page that should look like this. Then you click the download and save it. I'll save it to my desktop for presentational purposes. You should save it to a download folder just to be organized. At any rate, click open and then take these two files and uncompress them. Like so. Then what you need to do is uh, open up this readme file. And then in here, there are links to two downloads. So, well, not so much links as uh, URLs. So, copy the, copy the first one and paste it in for Motorola software update. And then click run. It will download. And click the user account control window uh, for continue. I know you can't see that, but I'm assuming that's just a security thing. Okay, so then you just click next and next to install. Once the installation is done, click close and Motorola software update will open. <clears throat> now you can connect your phone. Uh, and also, if this uh, Windows firewall window comes up, click on block. So you should hear some beeps from your phone and from the computer, and uh, so Windows is installing drivers for the phone. You know you're ready to go when phone is not connected, uh, disappears. Okay, so it's connected and it checked for updates to my phone, but there aren't any. So you need to leave this open, but I'll minimize it because you don't actually interact with that program. So now, go back into the readme file and download this second um, program. Uh, this program is called P2K Scene Editor, and I downloaded it from uh, HackTheRazor.com, which is where it's hosted. Uh, and HackTheRazor.com has a whole bunch of great tutorials for hacking your phone. So, okay, so uh, uh, I compressed these files and uh, open up P2K Scene and click Run. Okay. Uh, so now go and type in the scene box 2742 and in the bytes type 0. And click uh, load from phone. Now we're going to, these are your some, some of the settings for your phone. Um, for example, if we go uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A, B, C, 
see. D. There we go. Uh, and here is the setting that enables um, US Bluetooth over USB file transfers. Anyway, there are a whole bunch of these. So, uh, first what we're going to do is we're going to make a backup. So click Save to File and make a backup. And uh, here's a really specific file name that I suggest you use because there will be... <sighs> there will be no confusion as to what it is. So, paste that in. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That's not right. It's... It's... Whoa. It's right here. So copy that file name. Doesn't need to be this file name, but it has uh, what it's called, and this seam, record, and bytes are important. So you need to know those numbers. Anyway, save that. Now you have your backup. So now, what you do is click load from file, and um, find, find, Razer V3M unlock settings. Now, uh, blah -de blah it's longer than that. Anyway, click, double click that to open it, and then click save to phone, and then click yes. Now, click restart phone, and the phone will restart. You know it worked. There we go. You know it worked if you can see wallpaper uh, on the outside. If you still see the orange thing, you did something wrong. Uh, yeah, so now your phone is unlocked and you can go on to bigger and better ventures like copying ringtones to your phone or using it as uh, a dial-up modem. Things like that. That's it.